Hello and good Thursday, December 7th, 2006. I'm Joanne and this is Rocket Boom. Today, it's all about floating in air, free suspension and land speed. It's called eliminating friction. Let's get right to it, Bree. In this dark end of town, on this dark street, a new sport is born. Shovercraft, combining shuffleboard with homemade hovercrafts. Each team vying to hit the target right on spot. Let's talk to the teams and find out about their hovercrafts. Yar! This be the best hovercraft that sailed the finest seas. We're using the scurviest and powerfulest motor in the group. Arr. Hurl the bark bark, the dragon, the bark bark, hurl the flip 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 flip, hurl the blip. The first rule of shovelboard is that you don't talk about shovelboard. Very solid performance from the Dragon. All right, let's get back into the workshop and show you how to make your own hoverboard. We start off with some plywood that was about four foot by three foot and some six mil plastic and a chair that I got at Goodwill and cut the legs off of. And then a uh, leaf blower. You want to get the nicest leaf blower you can afford. And a lot of duct tape. We used up all this duct tape and more. Uh, good stapler is very helpful so that you can staple the plastic to the plywood. And here's Beth putting the tape down around the edge. This is important so that the, the edge isn't sharp, so that it doesn't cut through the plastic. And there she is uh, doing the same thing with the hole that the leaf blower is going to go into. Just kind of keeping it so that it's all, uh, so that there's tape around the edges there. Okay, here I am stapling in the uh, edge there. You notice we've put um, duct tape on top of the plastic to protect it so that the staples just don't go right through it. And there's Frank and David going and screwing their chair into their hoverboard. And there's Beth. She's pounding the staples here so that they go, so that they're really flat, really secure, and that keeps things from ripping. Max made a circular hoverboard. This is my puck shaped hoverboard. But there was a gas And uh, I'm working on mounting the uh, airport to the board surface. What's, what's your next step here? So next we're going to put the grommet on the bottom here, which is this big piece of plastic we got. Staple that right there, screw it in, and then make some holes around the bottom so the air can escape, making the rest of the pocket balloon, and that'll basically cut down the friction. So I'm making it a hovercraft. Here's Willow, our brave test pilot for this hovercraft. And here's Christina. She did the awesome stencils on this hovercraft. Shoverboard was a success. We made up games, we had fun, and if nothing else, you got to ride around on a frictionless platform. Let me show you how it works. You start off with a motor, and that puts air into the balloon, the cushion, and then that leaks out, and basically so you're riding on air. It works great, and it basically means it's frictionless, so that you can basically go for a very long ways. Make sure if you do this that you stay, you know, you're careful not to get your ankles knocked into and bruised. Okay, I'm Bree Pettis and you've just watched another Weekend Projects. Go out there, make yourself a hoverboard, play shoverboard, and have a great weekend.